The hormone weight connection, what is it? For a woman's reproductive life, her entire life actually, every single major hormonal stage is often slash almost always associated with changes in metabolism, cravings, and actually body weight. So what do I mean by that? Puberty. A lot of times uh, girls approaching puberty uh, will gain some weight before having a growth spurt or at middle of adolescence. Uh, peri-pregnancy, peripartum, obviously a huge metabolic and hormonal challenge um, to a woman's body. And then perimenopause and menopause. So these three stages in a woman's life associated with changes in metabolism, um, and often changes in weight. They are normal. Um, and the first thing that I like to remind people of is recognize, appreciate, acknowledge, and normalize these changes. Uh, that is your body doing what it is supposed to do. Now the key is how can you help it and how can you strategize your way through these normal and important hormonal milestones uh, so that you come out feeling good. The first step is making an observation for you. Have you noticed a change in your appetite, in your weight, in um, your cravings for certain foods? And this could be at certain times of the menstrual cycle, or this could be starting as early as age 40, uh, as women can typically enter what's called perimenopause. At this time, weight gain is incredibly common. Typically, it's midsection, mid-torso weight gain that occurs despite a woman not changing what she's eating or how she's moving. In other words, the energy balance components, calories in versus calories out. Step two would be trial and error. If you've noticed a change in your weight or your appetite, I recommend that you can try things, but give them one to two weeks at minimum to see how do you feel in terms of your energy level, your hunger, your satiety, and then your weight. Remembering also that the number on the scale is just one outcome. It's one endpoint. It's one measure. Um, and really should never be the, the largest part of that um, equation. The other thing would be, are there certain foods that make your symptoms better or worse? Perimenopause and menopausal diet hormone connection, uh, that's a time when really there is some science to suggest that leaning into a plant-based diet can have a plethora of benefits. Not only can it reduce uh, some of the symptoms associated with a drop in estrogen levels, like hot flashes, but it's also a good way to kind of stabilize your weight, keep you full in terms of your energy level, um, and has some good data in terms of reducing the risk for heart disease and cognitive decline that we can expect to see as an increased risk after menopause. You know, recognizing what your body is about to go through or is going through hormonally and then eating to support that um, is, is really going to help. I talk about this a lot in my new magazine, Better, with Dr. Jen Ashton, which is available on newsstands everywhere uh, starting now and also on magazineshop.us.